hello guys welcome to solveme.net uh, today i will show you that how you can recover the deleted object from active directory yeah. before starting uh, i request you to please subscribe our channel so that you can get the any update uh, if i have uploaded on youtube okay. on your mail inbox so you never miss any updates within your um, uh, within your technical knowledge on dom on it infrastructure so let's uh, start first of all um, how we can recover that deleted object and why we need to recover that okay. as you already uh, aware uh, that uh, in active directory there is tom storm lifetime okay. suppose uh, you have deleted object xyz and you want to recover it okay then how you can recover and uh, after how month or uh, or after how much period till how much period you can recover that so the by default is about 2003 2008 and till 2012 or to also by default it is 180 days so that you can recover any deleted object within your 180 days from the deleted date or time Uh, or for more information about the um, tom storm lifetime you can view our uh, other videos which i have already uploaded on that on youtube okay so let's uh, start here you can see that there is i am just you know, creating a new ob object this is mary okay and i am also creating the last name suppose uh, mary tom something like that okay i'm i'm mentioning the your login name mary dot tom and click the next and you can enter the password what you want click next next and finish then here i am updating some attributes so that you know we can understand clearly that what's going on after uh, recovering that okay so i am here i am adding group member and also i am here some information in organization okay. uh, in general tab i am also mentioning something one more thing i am also mentioning some telephone number 1234567 and then uh, click okay okay so now you all you aware that there is one us user in it organization unit mary tom so let's right click on that and delete it that's deleted now i will show you how you can recover it so first of all before recovering you have to the member of at domain admins to recover the object because this is required for privilege administrative privilege uh, so because see i am already logging our server with the administrator user so you have to open the ldap so how you can open the ldap connection so in server 2008 and server 2012 also there is command ldp okay to open this or you can also type the ldp.exe and click the enter okay then uh, first of all we need to go to the connection and bind and uh, you can click okay because i am already logging with the administrative privilege user that's why i am um, selecting the bind as a currently logged on user or you can also bind with different credentials by clicking here and uh, put the username and password and domain here that's will also work okay so i am clicking on the current logged on user and click okay so you can see that authentic authenticated as administrator user so let's uh, start with the um, option to so go to the option menu and click on control here you can say that by default um, 
the load predefined is already selected the policy hints control so you do not worry and uh, let's uh, drag and drop and select the return deleted objects and click done okay okay so uh, by selecting this you know we can see the deleted object in the tree so now click on view and select the tab here you can drag and drop and select your complete domain name which is dc is equal to solve me dc dead net right. so click on just okay and you can see here and now expand this and uh, just double click on deleted objects okay. now you will find here that deleted object now question is how to know that the deleted object is the same which i have deleted right now or uh, i have uh, deleted previously okay. because you know that the same within same username you can find the lots of uh, object within the same username so how you can identify that so that's why you need to just double click on that and you can find that date and time you can see that uh, i was created this user in this time and it was changed change means i was deleted on this time so uh, let's uh, start with the recovery project i mean the recovery option so i just right click on that which object you want to recover and click on modify in modify in attribute just uh, write the is deleted and uh, click the operation deleted and just enter it will automatically add uh, in a list enter a list so now question is what i have to mention in a replace operation so in replace operation you have to mention that this distinguished name in the attribute section and in value you have to enter the last no in parent if you want to recover this object as per our previous ou then you can just you know you can copy this or if you want to uh, recover to some different uh, organization unit then you have to enter the same so uh, you know re recover to the same object this is some easy so let's uh, recover to the different OU so before before entering the value uh, and I want to show you something that uh, here you can see there is object class which is top person organizational person and user that means in the end of user that means the object type is user and the same name is sam name is mary dot tom because you know that the in the um, distinguished name this is a cn is equal to mary space tom but in sam account there is mary dot tom that you can also verify that this is the same user so let's copy the cn is equal to Mary space tom in the value and put a comma and then again you can you can type or you can copy paste that complete organization unit path here okay. so I'm making some some different thing that's why I'm changing my organization unit you can see that there is test 2 OU which is under the sales OU so now question is how we can mention this so you have to mention like first of all you have to mention the child OU here like in test 2 then put a comma and then again OU space what was it is sales ok that's fine you want to the completely then you can see which I have mentioned here okay that means this object will be uh, restored in sales and then test 2 so that's okay so click on enter by click on, on replace in operation click on enter okay. so uh, here you can select that synchronous and extend it and click the run okay. after click on run you can see your uh, logs here that call modify ldap modify extended and dot 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 this this detail and then in the last 
the object this 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 that means the command has been ran success fully so let's open here yeah. here you can see the your recover object okay now the question is this is by default disabled and this is the uh, active directory feature that if you want to any uh, recover object then it will uh, restore in disabled mode okay. so if you want to enable it just right click on that it will not enable because it's asking that windows cannot enable object merit term because unable to update the password the value provide for the new password does not meet the length complexity or modify the history requirement of the domain so because of this if you restore the any uh, user uh, any deleted object not user any deleted object then the password for the same it will be set as blank that's why that's why it's disabled in by default when you restore that so first of all just reset the password and i'm putting here something right i'll just click on that then you can enable this account right? you can see that the account has been enabled right? and just i'm double click on that let's see that what's going on with this if you see everything has been gone you have to mention here all right so thank you guys thank you for watching this